Hello Unboxing Nation. It's your boy Liam Underwood here with another box to unbox. Um, before I dig into this box, uh, there is an invoice on the front with identifying information. So let's take that off. There we go. And now let's take a look at this box. Because as you know, Unboxing Nation, this is the video where we look at boxes, we talk about boxes, we open boxes, and we see what's inside the boxes. Um, lots of fun is had. So on this box, there's not a lot, not a lot of, of information really. All we have is the shipping label. Uh, we've got the address of where this has come from, which I covered up for the video. Uh, we've got where it's been shipped to, which I've redacted. Um, it's a UPS expedited shipping with a tracking number. And it has some information on here as to what is inside this box. But there's nothing on the box itself. This is just quite a, as you can see, quite a plain, mysterious box. This is probably one of my favorite types of boxes because who knows, who knows what wonderful things could be inside here. Um, let's have a quick look at this invoice thingy. So it came in, in this plastic bag, um, which says on it, international shipping documentation. So we know that this box has come from abroad. Uh, UPS was another sort of giveaway for that, probably. Um, it's quite sticky, as you can see that that's, I'm not holding that, that's just stuck to my fingers, like I'm Spider-Man. Um, that's that gone. So what have we got on on this documentation here? We have, hello, it's me again. Uh, we've got uh, other contact names, where it's being shipped to, what's in it. Oh, we've got a declaration statement that's been signed and dated. Um, some tax information. Uh, really, it's, it's, it's just a kind of a repeat um, of, of what we've already seen. Another signed declaration, um, a commercial invoice. Uh, it has like the same information, but displayed slightly differently. And another signed declaration. Lots of information on what's inside the box. Let's just open it. Let's just open it and find out. Uh, the way to do that, you grab your trusty scissors and you be very, very careful with your scissors because scissors can cause life-threatening injuries. You could probably stab yourself in the eye with them and blind yourself. Um, with enough force, you could probably get it in the neck and do some real damage um, if you're not being careful. And that's why we say in Unboxing Nation, always be careful when you're using scissors. Uh, some people, when they open boxes, they like to use knives and things like that. And that's even more dangerous, quite honestly. Um, we stick with scissors here. It's the safest option that still helps us get into the boxes. Because if we couldn't get into the box, this video would be um, just a big tease Big tease with no release. And that's not what we want. That's un Unboxing Nation. We strive to give you top quality unboxing content. Every video. Um, so, I've just trimmed along the edge there. And you can see now, that's, that's looking quite nice. Um, but we've got this big central bit to open. Um, now, 
I tried the brute force method, but there's a little sneaky bit of tape across here that's gonna to have to be cut. And now obviously, I need to cut this end carefully with the scissors, as always. Lots of tape on this box, I will say that much. And unlike previous boxes we've seen, uh, this box does look to be a good size for what's inside it. I'm, I'm seeing no bulging. Um, you don't want to see box bulging, really, because that means the box isn't fit for its purpose, quite frankly. So let's open this up. Hello again. Um, all right, there's another invoice and a little thank you for your order. And then just a bunch of ticks to make sure that everything is included. So, what do we think is in a box like this then, huh? Uh, I can tell you, we have a, a messed up puzzles, Betty Page puzzle, 1,000 pieces of vintage Exotica. Little play on words there, Exotica, because it's a little leopard print thing. Um, so that's, that's one jigsaw puzzle that was inside that box. That's not all. It's a small puzzle, this is a big box. Uh, so what else have we got? We have just bubble, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. That's to protect what's inside the box, obviously. Um, next, we have a hard ticket to Hawaii jigsaw puzzle. Uh, again, 1,000 pieces of bullets, bombs and babes. And you can see all those things pretty much on the cover there. Not sure if you can see any bullets. Um, nah. Maybe, maybe. So that's uh, that's the second puzzle that was inside that box. Third, we have the New York Ripper. 1,000 pieces of good, efficient butchery. So um, this one looks quite challenging. Lots of dark blue colours. Um, so I think this, this one could take some time. That's the third jigsaw puzzle that was inside this box. But that's not all. Uh, we have Creep Show, one thousand pieces of suspense and horror. Creep Show season one, that is. Um, I think this will be quite a fun puzzle to do. Lots of bright colours and lots of like colour blocks. Um, so I think that will be a good one. And that's the fourth jigsaw puzzle. Um, we have Suspiria. Uh, another 1,000 pieces. The only thing more terrifying than the last 120 pieces are the first 880. So if you've seen the film, uh, or if you've seen the poster for the film, you'll know that's a little play on the, the tagline, which I thought was quite smart and clever. This is definitely going to be a difficult puzzle. There's a lot of just plain black to it. Um, I'm sure it'll be fun, but I think it's going to be hard. And that was the fifth jigsaw puzzle inside this box and then we've got ho oh, oh, ho we have this puzzle here which is mandy and this is 1000 pieces to rock and roll when you're dead and i really like the sort of purples and reds that make up this puzzle again i think this will be a challenging one but this is going to look absolutely beautiful once it's all made and I like to uh, frame my jigsaw puzzles once I've made them. Uh, so they're ready to be displayed on a wall at some point in the future. I currently really have 15 uh, framed puzzles. So I've got plans for them, don't worry. I'll explain that in a little bit. Next, we have the first Evil Dead jigsaw puzzle. And this is 1000 pieces bound in human flesh and inked in human blood. So, Absolutely lovely. How many is that now? I've lost count. Um, seven. That was my seventh puzzle. Um, then we've got this one. This is another Evil Dead. Uh, another 1,000 pieces. Familiar to those who have seen the poster, I'm sure. Again, lots of just one colour. So challenging challenging uh, that's the eighth 
And then the ninth and final puzzle that's in this box, it's another Evil Dead, another 1,000 piece Evil Dead one. Um, and I, th I don't think this one will be quite as bad as some of the others to do. I think this one will be a little bit easier, but we'll see. I'm sure they will all have their own unique challenges. So that's 9,000 pieces of puzzling in total. Um, that's everything that was inside the box. Um, so the plan with these, once they're made and, and put into a frame, uh, I'd like to get a little, uh, like a poster thing made. You know like when you go to like a HMV or other shops that sell posters, they have like a display and you can flip through the posters and pick the one you want. That, but for framed jigsaw puzzles. So if anyone comes to stay over, we can put a hook in the spare room and they can pick which jigsaw puzzle they want to put on that hook for the duration of their stay. Uh, so that's the plan. Always have a plan when you're doing puzzles. It's a good tip. Um, this has been another Unboxing Nation video. I've been Liam Underwood and I've unboxed a box for you. Thanks for watching. Bye.